Ah, this is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics, and this is Ask the Aquaponics God. Preventing you from becoming a biscuit headed grower. Today, high class growers, we're going to be discussing a little bit about which crops do I recommend not growing in aquaponics. But before we jump into the topic, I want to thank you guys for liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I absolutely appreciate you guys out there. The channel would not be hot without you guys. So without further ado, let's jump into it and see what we got going on and what we are going to be yapping about today. So this question comes from Home Depot. It says, another great video, my man. Thanks a lot. And this video is talking about nitrites or nitrates disappearing in aquaponics. The video was pretty good. Okay. And you appreciate it. It says, I was wondering what types of plants would you not recommend in aquaponics? So let's get into it. High class growers. Now, for those of you guys out there that don't know, aquaponics, it really shines when we're talking about a production method, when we're growing um, uh, types of crops like leafy greens and herbs. This is where the bread and butter of aquaponics is, where the, 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 the magic happens, right? Where you see the wonderful magic. But aquaponics is not just limited to leafy greens and herbs. You can grow the leafy greens, you can grow your herbs, you can also grow um, certain types of fruiting crops, a, a good a variety of uh, fruiting crops, and also you can grow beans as well. I had just finished growing some beans not too long before it got a little bit too hot in here and I had to take the plant down. But you can grow those as well. So realistically, aquaponics, you can really grow pretty much the vast majority of crops that you would grow for food. Right. That's what you could. You could find a way somehow, some way to produce it. But that doesn't mean that aquaponics is best to grow some of those crops. Now, some of the crops that I would stay away from in aquaponics are, for instance, potatoes. Right. Potatoes likes those like well-drained uh, soils. Um, they also like a, a low pH. Right. Somewhere between, um, you know, five or 4.8 and 5.5, right? So they want an acidic pH and an acidic pH, uh, a pH that low on the, um, on the chart is not really suitable for aquaponic production, right? That's gonna have an impact on your biological filtration when you're growing uh, crops that, or when you're growing in a pH that low. And other crops that fall into that same category are, you know, some of the fruit crops like um, blueberries, raspberries, cranberries. These guys also want an acidic environment, right? And then we're talking about fours, low fives, and that doesn't work for aquaponics. In hydroponics, you can get away with that, but aquaponics, we have to deal with um, our bacteria and the nitro, our nitrifying bacteria, which when you start going down and dipping down to the, the pH range of six, that's when most of your nitrifying bacteria are not going to be operable, right? They're going to be out of action. You're still going to have some nitrification occurring, but it's not going to be able to really keep up, especially if you have, you're stocked at a, you know, at a, a decent density, you're feeding, you know, at the right rates, you're going to want that ammonia to be, um, um, to be converted relatively quickly. Right. And it's not going to be able to happen when your pH is so low. So those type of crops we're not dealing with in aquaponics. Right. Some of the other crops, the rooting crops, I pretty much would stay away from for the most part. Carrots. I wouldn't deal with those. I wouldn't recommend people growing those, although you can. I've seen people find some sneaky ways to get it in there. To me, it's just not worth it. Right. Onions. Um, I will leave those out. You know, things like beets, I will leave those type of crops out as well, right? The rooting crops I will pretty much stay away from. Um, and then um, you pretty much have your, your selection from there. Another type of crop that I would definitely stay away from, and this is for a lot of the zealous 
people out there that when they see aquaponics, maybe they haven't tried it or thought the whole thing out, is they would be interested in growing fruit trees and nut trees. We definitely want to stay away from that, right? We don't want to be growing those. Now those, especially if you're growing like you want to grow an apple tree or an orange tree or a mango tree, you got to re remember that the roots of those trees are going to be fairly large. So the amount of area that you're going to need to produce that type of crop is going to cost a lot. So the price might not be economically justifiable. At least in my opinion, it's not right to grow something like that. Right. And then you have other problems that will arise. This would be grown in something like a media bed. Right. You have other problems that possibly could arise doing it that way that cause just it's just not going to be worth it in the long run for that type of crop along with the root crops. My preference would be to leave that to the soil. You know, I love aquaponics and I'm not really a big fan of growing the majority of crops in soil. But sometimes you got to just realize, you know, when something is just better. Right. I'm not going to be so extreme that I can't realize that soil has its purpose. Right. And growing those large trees. That's what I leave that up to growing the root crops. That's what I leave it up to. I respect soil when it comes to that area. Right. And also when it comes to the large trees, it's not something that you're constantly coming in, harvesting and planting. You plant it in there. Some of those crops like orange trees. We're talking about 50 years, apple trees, 100 years, mango trees up to 300 years. Right. So it's just planting it in there one time and pretty much you're done. So in that respect, I'll leave that to the soil. So those are pretty much the crops that I would leave out of aquaponics. But there's you know, there's a variety of crops. The majority of the crops that most of you guys are going to be eating on, you can grow and I would recommend growing them in aquaponics. I mean, the list is is long. So as far as that, those are the crops I would stay away from. And um, and that's what I would leave it to leave that to the soil. So hopefully that has helped uh, answer your question. And you've gotten some insight out of that. So if any of you guys out there have other questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below and we'll be sure to add those to the queue. If you guys need further help, make sure to visit the school of aquaponics.com or click on the link below to get you a free starter guide and um, a free course in aquaponics. I appreciate you guys out there for liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Let's keep building up the community. Keep getting this thing hot, right? Let's bring in some more information out and let's let's further this aquaponics thing, right? I look forward to it. Look forward to building more, you know, more projects, interacting with you guys. And, you know, this is what it is. This is aquaponics, baby. We're dealing with the high class growers here. Right. I tip my hat off to you guys out there and that's the way it is. So until next time, this is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics reminding you to stop walking and get you a car. <laughs>